Have you ever wanted to know how to tell an insect from a spider? Well, I'm going to tell you now. Insects and spiders are very different creatures indeed. Spiders and, well, scorpions and ticks all belong to the family called arachnids. Flies and beetles and mosquitoes and things like that are all in the family called insects. Well, I'll explain a little bit more about it as we go along. Here we go. Here is a picture of an insect I drew recently. It's called a pigeon horntail, Tremex columba. Now, when you look at an insect, count its legs first. Make sure that it's an insect and not a spider or another kind of arachnid. You see, insects have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like this one here. Arachnids, like spiders, scorpions, and ticks, have eight legs. Here, we have a ladybird beetle. Family, Cosanellidae. These are most normally known by most people as ladybugs. And they're very useful for controlling garden pests. They're very nice, so never step on a ladybug. If you've ever gone camping beside a mountain lake or pond, you may have seen one of these skipping across the water. They're called water striders, family Jarus. This yellow jacket, family Vespula, has lovely bands of yellow and black. The interesting thing about this is that not only insects, like this yellow jacket, have this kind of coloring, but also some spiders, like this black and yellow Argiope, family Argiope aranthia. You see, the yellow and black scientists found or what prevent birds from wanting to eat them. Anything that's yellow and black would seem like it might be a yellow jacket or a wasp. And spiders are left alone when they have this coloring. Birds don't want to try to eat them. And if you ever go near a creek nearby, you might see this little fellow, a damselfly, suborder Zygoptera. They're very, very pretty, aren't they? Here are some examples of some common North American insects. In the upper left is a black and yellow mud dauber wasp, Scalifron cementarium. Below him is a scorpion fly, known as Panorpa. And over in the lower right is a praying mantis, Mantis religiosa, one of my favorites. Well, that's about all we have for bugs and insects right now. If you'd like to learn a lot more about insects and arachnids and all sorts of creatures like this, you can go to your public library and get all sorts of books with wonderful pictures and complete explanations about each and every one of them. Well, we'll see you later.